a little more than 600 million miles from the moon. No, I, I know. But after this, it's probably 50 million miles from another watering hole or anything else, really. Uh-huh. We need a charge, Cody, and I wanted to stretch. Maybe get a drink. Oh, okay. I'll keep an eye on the package. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Called a Lynchburg lemonade. I know you guys serve them. We're sorry, we can't understand your command. A Lynchburg lemonade, or anything? Have, have it a water. Promise I won't ask for ice. Hello, traveler. Welcome to the Misto Tavern. Would you like a? Uh, forget it. Just forget it. Cancel. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going. Trying to get a drink, but this Bendix unit's not really cooperating. So, you know, fair warning. Surprised it still has juice to even run, to be honest. Oh, the robot? Yeah, Bendix is. The 56 models were a little finicky. Its vocabulary is pretty limited. Much like myself, so. You'd think we'd be simpatico. We're sorry. We can't. Yep, got it. Hello, traveler. Welcome to the Misto Tavern. Would you like a drink? Good luck. Uh, yeah, and and uh, one for for the for her too. Whatever whatever she wants. It knows what I want. We're sorry, we can't understand your command. And what about a Sazerac? Know what that is? We're sorry, we can't understand. Yeah, whatever. I just wanted something to hold and swirl, but you know. Maybe next Christmas. Eh, only a little backwash. Pretty fresh. The sell buy is only six years ago. Maybe don't ask where I got this from. Well, I know you didn't get it from the half-deaf toaster, so I'm gonna have to assume that that's somebody else's drink. Hmm? Well, kind of. I mean, you know, yes, yes it is. You don't tell, I won't tell. But, uh, thanks. And buddy, seriously, have a seat. You're making me twitch.
Okay, I'm appreciative of you getting me this cup of warm toilet water. That doesn't mean I want to feel your breath on my neck. Hey, the seat just looked warm, okay? It's also wet, by the way. Something I didn't realize until just now. Relax. I'm just messing with you. I'm waiting on the seed caravan, the 32 to Palace for their monthly shipment. So I don't know if you're aware, but that makes you my entertainment for the next 45 minutes. So come here often? <laughs> no, I, I've actually never been here before. I'm a courier, uh, long hauling to the moon. The ship needed a charge. Mm. Mm, ship needed a charge. Uh, what do you like most about being a courier? Not that you have to like anything about anything, but you know. Is this gonna maybe sound depressing or like I'm, I'm sending you a message? Uh oh. But I actually like the solitude. I really do. I like it. Just me and my ship. <laughs> I don't know why you think that sounds depressing. I just like being alone with my faceless transport. Jeez. Is sitting this close to me setting your skin on fire? Not that I can't understand. People suck. No, no, this is, uh, this is nice. Well, don't get too mad when you realize I pickpocketed you later. Joke's on you. Those coins are only good on the cannibal stations. <sighs> oh. So, this is happening. What's happening? W what is that? Screamers. Anyone in charge? Hello, Traveler. Welcome to Themisto Tavern. Would you... Any human in charge? No? Okay. I am looking for someone. His name is Edward Keller. Goes by Eddie. He looks like this. This is what he looks like. Look at it. You too. Have you seen him? Oh, sorry, no. My business partner and I are headed to the satellites of Deimos. I haven't seen anyone with that, uh, complexion. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that is what is going on with us. Yeah, been pulling a lot of all-nighters getting there. You know, we can hardly see straight as it is. Haven't seen him. Haven't heard the name. Eddie Keller? Nope. And now, as I was just saying before you came in, I need to use the facilities. Which I'm gonna go do now. Didn't you have to go too? Because you better go now before we hit the road. Get your ship out front. You a courier? Uh, sometimes. Look, if you see him, if you see Eddie, here's a copy of his photo. My call sign's on the back. A reward if you have any information. Any at all. Okay? Okay. Uh, sure. What about you? Seen this kid? No. Where'd that woman run off to? Oh, there you are, finally. All right, r uh, real quick catch up. I'm Sarah, nice to meet you. Uh, Beckett, but- And you're Beckett, yeah. Okay, so that guy, he's a screamer. And that kid he's trying to find, that's my son, Eddie. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna get out of here before he realizes who I am and kills us or worse. And you're gonna give me a ride to ASAF 3. It's the next stop over, won't take a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I, I just met you and I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Like, what did Eddie do? Uh, what are you getting me involved in here? You're already involved. He finds out we lied about what we're doing. He's gonna think we know more than we do. I didn't lie. You also didn't tell the truth when I lied. So look, Beckett, we're in this together now, all right? And Eddie's my son, okay? My son. He's a good kid. You're not helping the bad guys here. But I do need your help with a ride. That's it. So in or out, because I'm out of here right now, no matter what. Uh, Sarah, I want to- Great, open the window. Let's go. Hop to it. Thanks for this. Really, I... I couldn't tell if you were gonna help me or not. Uh, I don't have much to offer for, like, payment or whatever, but we're gonna meet up with some people. I'm sure you'll be able to take something off them. Money or food, it's the... the least I can do. Sarah, come on. I don't need anything. You're in trouble. I was there. That's how it should work. Okay. 
Well, thanks again, Beckett. My ship's just down the path here. I parked it in front. All right. Yeah, let's go. seen a Cody before. Yeah, sure, but I call mine, you know, I call it Cody. Like, that's his name. Hey there, I'm Cody. What's your name? Shall I guess? I'll start with the A's. Why is this happening? Abigail, Alyssa, Ada. It's Sarah, Cody. Greetings, Sarah. Uh, no. Can we just leave now? Hey, open up or be opened up. Take your pick and pronto. I am detecting a rapidly heating ion torch. On my exterior. We should find a place to go. Bridge, now. Destination? Here, Texan, Michigan. Never heard of it. Sounds like a boot emporium. It's not a place. They're friends. We should be safe with them. We? He wants both of us. Right now, it's you plus me, sailor. approaching. Damn it. Can you go faster? This is a Cody. It's optimized for long hauls, not drag racing. Up. Up. Down. Down. Screamer ship upon us. Might have mentioned Keller's your son. I can't watch this. Blocking eyes. Stay still! No. You're doing great. But we can keep dancing if you want, but I'll make your shoes wear out before mine. He's right. A Cody isn't designed for, uh, you know, avoiding death swipes. Okay, I have zero idea how to not die right now. I might. Redirecting. That's an asteroid field. I know. I got your ship's ID frequency. Don't think we're done, Butterfly. He's diverting. It worked. Yeah, out of the frying pan and into the much larger and full of giant rocks that can kill us frying pan. Well, yes, there is that. Left. Left. Way too close. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. That one looked just like a potato and nearly ended our lives. Are you trying to hit as many as possible without dying? No. Hmm, so you say. Actually, I should just be thankful, because either way, it really speaks to your character that you'd be willing to fly through that for free. You're either very generous or very insane. Truly, sailor, truly. Or both. Or both, but you know, 
Hope in one hand, take a dump in another. See which fills up first. Destination approaching. So who are we visiting again? Arkansas and Ted? M Michigan and Tex. They're sisters. We go way back. They're also, uh, bounty hunters. Good ones. Which means, you know, some might call them dangerous murderers. Depends on, uh, uh, your definition of murder. And dangerous? I'll stay in Cody. You should come along. If Flyboy shows up, you'll be a lot safer with M&T than with Smiley here. It's Cody. I'll print you a reminder if needed. Also, we have arrived. We should hurry, but but here's something you should know about Michigan and Tex. They're not gonna trust you. It's nothing personal. They're just not. Smart. They don't know me. I'm saying this because not only are they slow to trust, they're, you know, professional killers. Just wits. Keep them about you. Slow to trust doesn't mean impossible to trust. Just, yeah. Okay, you've been warned. Let's go. Um, are those... Actual human skeletons? Yeah. M and T hang on to the bodies of the real scumbags they take down. Like trophies, but don't feel bad for those bones. They belong to monsters. Pure dirt. Every one of them. You know what? Good. Screw them. Okay, knock on the door before I'm convinced one of these things moved. And hurry. We really shouldn't be out in the open for too long. Is that Sarah? Yeah. your driver? Yeah, that, that's Beckett. Look, so we need to get everyone on the phone pronto. And I mean everyone, yes, even him. So, uh, hey, so, yeah, so just let's call everyone up and... Hey, what? When was the last time you peed? What? When was the last time you peed or changed your contacts or just, you know, breathed? I don't know. How about you go do all three? Not simultaneously, unless, you know, you wanna, and then we'll do the call and sort out the wash, okay? Okay, yeah. Bathroom's upstairs, second on the left. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, hi? That's a big coat you got on there. Big coat. You ever seen a coat that big? Never seen a coat that big. Hey, points for noticing the most obvious thing about me. Any other mind-blowing observations? Hmm, a smart guy with a big coat. Big coats can hide... What can they hide, Tex? All sorts of stuff, Michigan. Wallets, keys, knives, guns. So the question is, what's yours hiding? Hey, I hear tough talk. Behave down there, you two. Beckett's cool. He offered to give me a lift over here, so, you know, I owe him one. Yeah, fine. Okay. It's still a big coat. Whoa, was that Sarah? Oh my god, her glasses. Take it with you if you want. We got copies. The glory and horror of Sarah's adolescent glasses should never be forgotten. Your friend. You play guitar? Nope. Yeah, me neither. Take it with you, poke at it for a while, see if you pick up a chord or two. Learn a new skill. Keeps your brain nice and electric, you know? Won't its owner miss it? Well, if he starts complaining, I'll rip his jaw off. My gift to you.
Hey, so... Hey, so... So, how do you two know Sarah? We all grew up together. All dropped out of school together. So, I'm gonna keep this short, tall guy. You're helping out our friend. We like that, but we don't know you. And we don't like that. Something's gotta be done about that. Post haste. Well then, get to know me. Yes, let's. So, look, there's this, uh, metric, I guess, that I used to gauge people. We're all garbage, right? Like, everybody alive, uh, ever, right? Of course, right. Oh, yeah, totally. Right? Dumpsters that blink. Every last one of us. So, yeah, we're all garbage, but sometimes garbage has, like, you know, hairs and crap like that, so it's not 100% completely garbage. So what would you say is your personal garbage percentage? Give me a number. God's honest. Come on. I'd say maybe about 62%. Yeah, that's that's pretty standard garbage rates. Maybe you're an honest sack of mostly trash. Okay, so Sarah's garbage percentage is dizzying. So all I'm going to say to you, Mr. 62, is be careful. If you guys are going to continue doing business, then I'd suggest that in doing said business, in shooting the breeze, in all things conscious, be careful. Hmm. You're all right, huh? I think so. I think so, too. Better? Better. Want to get everyone on the horn? You bet. They need a group call button on this damn thing. Hang on. Uh, who exactly are we calling? The most dangerous hunter killers in the universe. You know, our friends and colleagues. Where's Zeb? Not answering. Shocker. Oh well. Hey guys. Who's the big guy? You. Big and tall. Identify. I'm helping out Sarah. That's <laughs> so. Heading on to your receipts. I've only allotted two and a half minutes to this call. I would suggest increasing speed. I appreciate the sacrifice. So, look. Edward is in trouble. Again. Correct, Phobos. Got it. Uh, got it in one there. Does that happen a lot? Eddie getting in trouble? A lot? No, because that would mean there are times when he's not, and I honestly can't remember one. Eddie ripped off the screamers. Took their jump drive. You're yanking me. Ha! Kid's got stones. Never would have guessed, given where he comes from and all. Jump drive? Never heard of it. It's how the screamers stay on top of their sector. Everyone else has to use basic propulsion engines, but the screamers zip around at light speed. Hard to chase after the guy who robbed you when he's flying away at 300 million miles per second. They put a bounty on the jump drive's return big one. So, I'm asking for a favor. If you guys run across him, please, just please take the drive from him and call it a day. The bounty is just as good if you only return the jump drive. It doesn't need an accompanying corpse. We all owe each other something. Consider me square on anything owed to me if you help me out on this one. Deal? Agreeable. Swell. I'm on deep space in a hunt, so don't expect much from me, if anything. That doesn't surprise me. That surprise any of you? Hey, Goliath, when we want to hear something useless, we'll point. Fine, Wrench, don't uh, actively help, but drop a line if you see him. I'll think about thinking about it. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks. Go away. Gladly. Unsolicited advice for you, sir. Jelly Green over there? He clearly ain't cut out for this kind of work. I drop him like rotten garbage. Toss him out. Remember when we all asked for your opinion? Yeah, neither do I. Just saying, Sam, you ain't exactly batting a thousand when it comes to business partners. I'd hate to see that average drop deeper. So, will you guys help out? Duh. Double duh. How about you, Becca? Still don't mind carting me around? I promise, I pick up after myself. Eh, what the heck. I'm heading that way anyways. Look, maybe we get this jump drive. We use it to deliver your crap that much faster. So, did they behave enough, at least? Or, like, halfway to enough? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Really? This soon and you're lying to me? Shame, shame, shame. So, we got two places we should probably go. There's Sinclair's Garage. It's a chop shop where Eddie used to take his bike to get work done. Or, we can check out his apartment. m and can check out wherever we don't go. What'd you think? They're both in the same direction, more or less. About the same distance, too. I guess... His apartment? See if he left behind a note or something? Doubtful, but hey, the universe is full of surprises. And helium. So how'd he do? Did you hate him? 
I didn't hate him. I didn't hate him. We didn't hate him, but most importantly, we didn't kill him. Yes. Yes. Plenty of time for that. More than plenty. Such generosity. The night is young, Big Coat. We're gonna head to Eddie's place. You guys swing by Sinclair's. Okay. okay. And keep us posted? Yep. 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 Come on, Beckett. This feels good, Sarah. Like the old days. Yeah, we miss hunting with you. Those were... Uh, not having this conversation again, again, again. Come on, Beckett. You used to be a bounty hunter? Not having this conversation with you either. We are leaving. So, we told your friends we'd check out, uh... Ed's home, I know, but I'm thinking that, I don't know, I'm just thinking maybe we should check out Sinclair's, where he worked. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, but maybe I'm just too fractious right now. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's let's change it up. You'd be better equipped to check out his place than Tex or Michigan, right? Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I'll message him, tell him we're going to the shop, that they should go to his place. Next stop, Sinclair's Body Shop, AKA The Sink, also AKA The Toilet. 